Every believer has a voice, and it's the voice of victory. My God has made the way for me. Now, let's look at this. For the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. For it became him for whom all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons on to glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings for both he that sanctifies and they who are sanctified are all one. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God hath given me, for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. So death is the master fear. That's where it starts. It is the fear of death. And it is bondage. Now, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord, you've got a lot to be afraid of. You better hope you don't die. But now, when Gloria and I accepted Jesus, both of us were, were scriptural illiterates. I, I said, Gloria, did you notice that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all tell the same story? She said, isn't that wonderful? I mean, <laughs> T.L. Osborne said, Kenneth, he said, you're born free, brother. You didn't have any religion to unlearn. Well, I didn't. And so I had a different take on everything that I saw. And then I got over to the 11th chapter of Hebrews and I said, Gloria, 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 Gloria. I found the hall of fame. (laughs) Dear Lord, I found the hall of fame. If we could get this faith, if we could get a handle on this, I'm telling, there ain't anything we can't do. This is it. And we'd go to church. Oh, we want want this faith. And somebody would say, well, you know, you need faith. And this is what you need. This is what happened. This is what happened. You don't. And then they'd preach on Paul's thorn and, you know, and Job's turkey and Job. If Job had any turkeys, they weren't poor. (laughs) And start back over again. And, uh, So my mother gave, gave us our first tape of Kenneth E. Higgins. Now I carried my New Testament right here all the time. I put it in my pocket when I got up and I took it out at night when I, because that's where my cigarettes were before. <laughs> now it's about the same size and that's where that New Testament went. <laughs> oh my Lord of mercy. Mm, mm, mm. And I found out faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And I also, my lightning fast mind figured out fear comes the same way. Fear comes by hearing and hearing by the lies of the devil. And if you just get on television and watch all the reports, I'm telling you when this thing first started, and all I could have given the I could I could have given the news report. How many died this week? How many died last week? Well, we think some of them didn't die. Well, some of them did. Some of a lot of some of them died with something else, and COVID got the credit for it. That's right. Yeah. 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 They did that. That's true. Yeah. Sure did. So yeah. Gloria said, "You have to learn to talk back to that TV." Yeah. Well, I knew something better than that. I just turned it off. I don't watch much of it. I have an iPad. 
Glory to God. I can watch healing school anytime I want to. Glory to God. Fear of death. Now, again, I'll close with this. That made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for everybody. And we know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And you can't taste it when you die. You can't smell it when you die. You can't see it when you die. And you can't hear it. Now the man, Bob DeWeese, he was Oral Roberts' uh, manager and he was captain of the airplane. And so I was, I flew co-pilot to him. Bob DeWeese had a heart attack on the handball court. And he said the next thing he knew He was in the most beautiful spot he had ever seen in his life. He said, Kenneth, I've never had such life going through me in my life. And he said, I walked over and he said, there was on this road and there was a fence on each side. And he said, as close as I could tell, it was hand carved mahogany. He said, it was magnificent. But he said, then I saw the lights of the city and here's what he said. Oh my God, I'm home. He said, I started running. See, he wasn't aware he didn't have a body. He said, I started running. Well, he was telling this to glory of me. And he said, I, I, he said all of a sudden, I, I, I began bogged down and he said, I came to myself. And he said, there I was in the city of faith. And and Charlotte hollering, you know, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And Charlotte said, she just butted in. She said, Kenna, you, would you, you want me to tell you what he said? I said, well, yeah. Did he say, thank you, Charlotte, for saving my life? No, <laughs> no. He said, Charlotte, what'd you do that for? <laughs> he didn't want to come back. Don't ever feel sorry for somebody that goes to heaven. But I'm not done yet. And neither are you. And we're going to live out our lives here. Amen. And the Lord dealt with me some years ago, as most of you know, about living to be 120 years old. And that's the only That's the only year that God said. Now in the 90th Psalm, Moses wrote the 90th and the 91st Psalm. And he was lamenting because they were dying in the desert 70 or 80 years. Well, when you go look it up, the Lord did that to get them out of there before they destroyed themselves. 70 or 80, because there came a time when the Lord wouldn't allow anybody older than 20 to stay. But God is the one that said in Genesis 6, 3, the days of man shall be 120 years. And the Lord asked me if I'd do it. And I said, of course I will. 
I couldn't figure out why. And then he began to talk to me about the anointing. Now there are people that live a long time. I just signed a Bible, a, a birthday gift for a partner that in, in Alabama that has been our partner since 1977. And she's celebrating her 100th birthday, the 14th of this month. Amen. So now here is one that has lived a long time on the word of faith. Now that's the difference. And that's what the Lord talked to me about. There's been a lot of people live a long time, but to live a long time with a specific assignment to preach a specific message and he said, it's because of the anointing. Now he said there, I, he said, I have anointings in the earth. Uh, well, when he started talking to me about this, I wasn't 85 years old. <laughs> of course I wasn't. But he said, now when you get up to 80, 85, 90, he said, when he gets to be 90, there are not many because of the word of faith. But now Pat Robertson and I are very good friends. And I got a, I got a note from him the other day on his birthday. And he said, I'm planning to live 120 and I'm asking you to do the funeral. because there's just that much difference between the two of us. I said, I'll be there, glory. I'll do it, glory to God. I'll be there. <laughs> but he's serious and so am I. Yes. Unless the Lord returns before then. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he may well do it. I hope he does. But when you, then the, here's what the Lord said to me. He said, when you get up to a hundred, he said, very, very few, very, very few are still preaching a specific message on the word of faith. 115, he said, I don't have it. 110, 115, he said, those anointings are not in the earth. And so the prophet's anointing has never had the opportunity to completely mature. People are dying too soon. Kenneth Hagin was 86. Well, that's too young. Now, in his case, I mean, he, I mean, he was supposed to have died when he's 17. So that's a whole different thing. He said, when you did this, tell him, he said, you just know that when I go, I'm satisfied. <laughs> And his heart was a supernatural heart. And after he, he just dropped his head over after breakfast one morning. And Ken Jr. called me and he said, Kenneth, I, he said, I know he's gone, but what do we do? And I said, Ken, I, the only thing I know is that's a supernatural heart because it was healed supernaturally in a moment's time on Mark 11, 22, 23, 24, and 25. I said, I believe you're going to have, you and, and, and the family and your team are going to have to go back down there at that hospital and turn it off. Well, he said, I, I knew that. I just didn't want to have to do it. And so they went down there and took the same scriptures where, the, where Brother Hagin found it in Mark 11 on faith, used the same scripture and the same faith, spoke to the heart and it quit. And I've spoken to my heart and it's time for me to quit tonight. <laughs> so stand up, please. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise tonight, Lord. And anyone in the sound of my voice that has never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, this is the time. Don't put it off another second. Not one more second. 
Oh, there are so many things I could tell you. Uh, one young man uh, was in his car and uh, he, there was a, a, a car wreck with a, with a, a butane truck and it exploded and then his car caught fire. And, and he just said, in the name of Jesus. And, and, he, and then he was standing out there by the side of the car watching his car burn. What if he had not heard us preach on the authority of the name? And then the only thing that survived was his Bible and the book the laws of prosperity. And it was singed all the way around the end. But that, and that book was up there on his dashboard and the book survived. The car didn't. <laughs> huh? What about that terror at Tenerife in the Canary Islands? I've landed there, but now they changed that airport. They built a new airport there on the island of Tenerife because of the worst air Yeah, the, the, the absolutely the, the, the worst air tragedy in the history of aviation happened right there. Two 747s, both of them full of fuel. This happens a lot. The captain of the KLM, he's, he's the one that nobody knows really how he got confused and he started his takeoff roll when he wasn't cleared to. And it was foggy. And that's the reason they built that airport on another part. And then he saw that other airplane and the cockpit voice recorder recorded him using God's name in vain. We're going to die. And the next second he left his body. But another man that wrote, wrote a book He's big man. Now he had prayed and told his mother, I'm coming back. And then he wrote in his book, The Terror at Tenerife, I believe is the name of it, and he just, he saw people's flesh melting off of their bones. And he just, there was a hole in the top of that 747 and he just hollered the name of Jesus. Now, you know how tall the inside of a 747 is. And the next thing he knew, his head was sticking out that hole. He hollered the name of Jesus again and he was outside the hole and he just ran, jumped off the wing. Thank God he knew the name and he had already said, I'm coming home. If you believe with all your heart that Jesus raised, God raised Jesus from the dead. 10th chapter of Romans says it like this. If you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, and you confess him as Lord of your life, then you will be saved. For with the heart, a person believes unto righteousness or right standing with God. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Amen. Amen. So wherever you are in this country or around the world, watching this meeting tonight. Let's just all lead them. Put your hand over your heart. And pray this, O oh God in heaven, I believe with all my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus, come into my heart. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. 
I receive you as the forgiver of my sins. I receive you as the forgiver of my sins. And I thank you. And I thank you. I believe that. I believe that. So by faith, so by faith I, am I am saved. I am born again. I am born from above. I believe it in my heart. And that's why I said it with my mouth. And now then, Lord Jesus, since I know you as my Savior, I'm asking you, fill me, please, with your precious Holy Spirit. I receive him. You, Jesus, are a gift to the world. But the Holy Spirit is a gift to the church. So I want both gifts. <laughs> and I receive him. And I believe I'm filled now. To overflowing. I fully expect to speak with other tongues just like they did on the day of Pentecost. So by faith, I'm saved. So by faith, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. Those of you that have never done that, don't frown. It's a gift. <laughs> it's a gift. Amen. You step over into the realm of the supernatural and you get into an air area of praying where the power of fear cannot take you over unless you allow it because you build yourself up on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost. It is your most holy faith because your mind can't foul it up. So just believe God and take it and go with it and pray in the spirit, saith the Lord of grace. Hallelujah. The spirit of faith comes from knowledge of God's word and through prayer. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. In this audio series, The Spirit of Faith, Kenneth Copeland shares how the Holy Spirit paints an image of the Word of God in the heart of every believer through revelation. Then, because of the reality of the Word in your heart, the force of faith is released by speaking God's Word out of your mouth. God releases His faith by speaking words, and He's called us to imitate Him. Words are the most important things in this planet. God purposely put creative power in words for His people to harness. That's why what you say matters. Simply, words of fear open the door to negative things, and words of faith in God brings goodness to your life. The good news is a spirit of faith will always overcome fear. Faith-filled words will dominate the laws of sin and death. Discover how to use your words mixed with the spirit of faith and see how every area of your life can change forever. Request your free copy of The Spirit of Faith by Kenneth Copeland, available on MP3. God released His faith by speaking words. Therefore, you release your faith in the words you speak. Go to kcm.org slash TV special or call 800-600-7395. Offer good for 60 days. If you're outside the United States, shipping charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. Take the Word of Faith wherever you go with the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine. Since 1973, KCM has delivered the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine worldwide. We're reaching nearly 400,000 people in 202 countries and territories on five continents, all absolutely free. Every magazine contains faith-building articles from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and other guest authors. Read encouraging stories from people like you in testimonies of real life victory. Equip your kids with powerful tools for spiritual growth in Commander Kelly's Corner. With a variety of viewing formats available, sharing is easier than ever. Download a digital copy for your tablet or mobile device. Click on the interactive magazine option where you'll find bonus content, videos, and downloads. 
Sign up for your free monthly subscription or download your copy today at kcm.org. Welcome to kcm.org, your study center for victory. Click Start Here to unlock answers on where to begin your faith journey. You'll find links to our most popular content and an overview of what kcm.org can do for you. Start there and don't stop exploring. Find a Bible-believing church home with the Find a Church feature. At kcm.org, we want to answer your questions, encourage you daily, and help lead you on the path to victory in your family, finances, emotional, and physical health. With things to watch, read, pray, and speak, kcm.org meets you where you are. Hello, I'm Spencer Nordyke. We seem to be living in a time where there's a lot of pressure and strife and people everywhere are rushed, agitated and stressed out. But in the midst of it all, you can live supernaturally at peace and protected. There's a better way and His name is Jesus. If you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it's as simple as asking Him to come into your heart. Will you pray this prayer with me? Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. I give myself to you. Teach me to walk with you. Teach me to give my every step to you. Fill me, Jesus, with your Holy Spirit. I receive the Spirit of God right now in Jesus' name. And God, I receive you as my Heavenly Father. Lord, teach me your ways. Show me your word. And bring me up in faith in Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer, now you belong in the family of God. You have access to all of God's promises. That includes healing, prosperity, protection, everything Jesus paid for, He's given to you. To help you learn more about your new life in Christ, KCM has put together some free resources called the Salvation Package. There's a book by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland called, He Did It All For You, along with some information to help you get started reading and studying your Bible. Request your salvation package today free on kcm.org. While you're online, you'll find a number of teaching materials and resources to help you develop your faith. You can read the daily devotional called From Faith to Faith, but there's also a daily Bible reading plan that takes you through the whole Bible in one year. You can search by topic to study the Word of God on things that interest you, such as healing, faith, finances, family, prayer, and more. Kenneth and Gloria Copeland want to see you grow spiritually and live in victory. Now, the Branson Victory Campaign begins tomorrow, April 7th, and goes through the 9th. Join Kenneth Copeland and Jerry Savell as they preach the uncompromised Word of God. Some highlights of the Branson Victory Campaign will be Friday morning, Partner Increase Day, and Saturday morning is Healing School, which is always a blessing. This event is free to attend, and for more information or to watch the meeting live, go to kcm.org. This is Spencer Nordyke reminding you that God loves you, we love you, and Jesus is Lord. If you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, request the salvation package from Kenneth Copeland Ministries, free on kcm.org salvation.